Hey guys, so let's go over some of the questions that ended the last episode. Number one, which of the following are prime numbers? Now if you remember, prime numbers are numbers that can only be divided by themselves or by one. So looking at these five numbers over here, we know that four can be divided by two, so that doesn't work. Five does work, right, because it's only divisible by itself and one, so that works. Twenty-one can be divided by 3 or 7, so that can't work. 40 can be divided by 2, 5, 8, 20, so that can't work. 89, if you work it out, can't be divided by any other numbers except by 89 and itself, so that works. So the two prime numbers are 5 and 89. Moving on to number 2, if you remember, if you have a positive next to a negative in these situations, that just changes to a negative. So here, if you simplify the question, it just becomes 4 minus 5, which is negative 1. The same thing goes for here, except it's two negatives. So if you remember, two negatives form a positive. So that becomes 9 plus 1, which becomes 10. Now here, if you remember with negatives and positives, when you multiply and divide, having a negative multiplied by a positive gets you a negative answer. So 3 times 5 is 15, negative 15 because of the negative sign here, times negative 7. Now multiplying two negatives together should get you a positive. So this should be 15 times 7, which is 105. Here we have a similar situation. We have a positive multiplied by a negative, so that gets you a negative 32 times 2 another negative times a positive, so that becomes negative again, and that's 64. On to number 6, what's the mean of 12, 24, and 36? Now if you remember, mean is just another way of saying average. So what we need to do is add these three numbers up and divide by 3. So 12 plus 24 gets us 36, and then 36 plus 36 gets us 72. 72 divided by 3 is 24. What's the mode of these numbers right here? Now mode refers to the number that shows up the most within a set of numbers. So the mode here would be 5 because it shows up 3 times. So moving on to number 8 what's the median of this set of numbers. Now, if you remember from the last lesson, median is just the number in the middle when you sort numbers in an ascending order. So we have these numbers are already sorted, so it's just the number in the middle here, which is 45. Now remember, if there were an even number of numbers in this set, you would need to take the average of the middle two numbers. Now on to number 9. In a class of 7 students, 3 students have an average of 82 and 4 students have an average of 91. What's the class average? So what we need to do is take the 3 students at 82 and multiply those out. So we get 3 times 82, which is equal to 246. And then do the same with the other group of students, the 4 at 91. So 4 times 91 is 364. Then we need to add these two totals together. And that gets a 610. Now what we need to do is divide 610 by 7, which is the total number of students, and we get 856, 50, 87, and some decimal places, so probably rounded to 87. All right, hope this helped you guys out. Hope you learned a little something about mean, median, mode, averages, and prime numbers, and uh, look forward to doing another video for you guys in the near future.